there was a question about uh, an ASCII file and, and how do you uh, use it and stuff like that. And so <clears throat> what I'm going to try to do here real quickly is find a file <clears throat> that I can open up that is something usable. Let me open up this one here and go to the top of the document. You can see that that's just a uh, regular transcript and what I'm going to do is <clears throat> you do shift alt o and that brings up your create ASCII format now this is how mine is set up. I don't want to spend the time to go through all the different options here, but I do want to point out down here at output, this is where you can choose where you want the ASCII file to be saved. So I click on output and you can see that I have it dropping into my scans. And so that's where I'm going to leave it. So if I hit OK, it will make an ASCII of that particular file. <clears throat> now let's go look at one that has been created and see how it looks. I'm going to bring up my folder for my scans and I've got one here that is open and you can see here that I'm using just under notepad. Just d double click on it and it will open up in Notepad. If you didn't want to open it in Notepad, you could even launch <clears throat> Microsoft Word or some other word processing program, or you can right click on the .txt file, and then you can tell it to open with other things, Notepad, WordPad, or you can choose another program. In my case, Notepad does the trick for me. So let's go there again and <clears throat> let me go to my scans folder. And that was 01 something. Let's just try this one here. So here's the file. This is what it looks like in the ASCII format. And you can see it's kind of similar to Eclipse but a little bit different. Now if I was an attorney, I could go through here and I could grab for instance something like this right here and I could right click on it and I could copy it and I can manipulate this file any way that I want to I could even add something in here granted no, not that an attorney would do that but you can see that I can edit this file now a court reporter would want to be careful <coughs> with uh, stuff like this and maybe have a file like a PDF file that has a little bit more uh, protection on it so to speak so that it can't be edited as easily. But let me back this out now so that I don't mess up this file. But this kind of gives you an idea of uh, what an ASCII is uh, and how it is used uh, in kind of a quick uh, description. I'm not going to save it because I don't want to mess with it. Now the other way to do a file if an attorney asks for it in uh, Eclipse is to <clears throat> open up a job and let's go into this one here <clears throat> and let's say that I wanted to make an ASCII file of this job uh, not an ASCII file, a PDF. I can do Alt O to print and at this point instead of defaulting with my HP printer, I click on setup and I can drop down the window for what's called Qt PDF Writer. That comes uh, with Eclipse on the install disk, I believe. If not, you can go find it on the web. And at this point, you can see I've got it set up for my writer. My printer now is Qt PDF Writer. So I'm going to go here. <clears throat> I've got that printer chosen. I'm not going to go through all this stuff again. It, it should work just like it is. I'm going to click OK. And what happens is Eclipse is turning that file into a PDF file. And if I wanted to, 
I can change the name of it or I can accept it the way it's named off of uh, Eclipse and I can again choose where I want to save it in the folder. <clears throat> so this one is called 061312B. I'm going to cancel and let's just see if that file is over in my scans. <clears throat> 061. I don't see that one, but let's just pull up this one here, this motion to quash, and see what that looks like. <clears throat> you can see this is a little bit different in format compared to how the ASCII looks, and I do have that one right here next to it. Let's look at the difference. You can see the ASCII, this is the ASCII file, and back here is the PDF file. I don't think I have the ability to go in here and do anything. I can't, I can't edit or anything. I can just look at it. The one thing I can do is I can do a word search uh, by bringing up Control F and then I can search for something uh, in the document, I believe. Let's just see if that works. Typed in the word Veronica and there it came up right there. If I hit it again, it'll find the next one if it's somewhere, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is a searchable PDF that uh, cute PDF writer made for me, and the attorney can manipulate this, but they can't really go in here uh, unless they have a, a full-blown version of uh, Adobe. Uh, I don't think they can really go in here and modify this file, so it has a little bit more protection, so to speak. Now there are other programs above and beyond this that uh, give a court reporter more protection such as real legal and uh, PDF it and stuff like that but I will uh, stop at this point and hope that that helps uh, explain the ASCII and the PDF and, and some of the features uh, just in a kind of a brief synopsis. I hope that helps and with that I will close.